hello in this uh, video i will just show how to use electric vlsi tool we will consider inverter as an example starting from schematic diagram till the layout and post layout simulation we will do using electric vlsi and one more tool is required that is ng spice that is also a open source and electric vlsi this is also open source so using open source tools we can draw schematic we can run the simulation spy simulation we can draw the layout and post layout simulation also we can do parasitic extraction and post layout simulation so you can download this software from this website it is static free software you just search in the google electric vlsi you will get this site and in the download section there are two files actually one is binary another one is source binary is enough you download this binary version of this software and one thing make sure that you have java installed in your laptop okay uh, this is about the electric and you need uh, depends which technology you are uh, using uh, it has up to 350 nanometer it has built in uh, pdk files but for 180 nanometer uh, you may have to uh, go through this library there is uh, 180 nanometer cmos standard technology cell also available so you can click here there is a file you download and you can store it in your folder and you can open that one okay uh, similarly one more tool required that is ng spice uh, so ng spice you can just type in the google you will get it this is one more uh, tool that is required for the simulation so in windows if you are using i am using linux here if you are using windows you can even use lt spice however lt spice is not open source it is a free software but it is not a open so open source software so here i am using linux operating system and ng spice and electric vlsi tool so these are the uh, eda tools i am using okay so uh, i have already in my uh, folder i have already downloaded one is electric binary file another one is 180 nanometer uh, library and i have also saved here in a file the level 1 model of nmos and pmos so level 1 model this i have referred from cedra and smith uh, textbook microelectronics uh, i will give this one in the comment section sorry in the description section now uh, let us open this one uh, electric binary i have already opened it here so once you open you will get this window so here you have this is the main main window so here you have to draw layout or schematic everything you have to do here and in the left you have three columns one is component another one is explorer here you will get the file structure another one is layer layer not required now so you go to explorer there um, create a new file so new library so we will give it name is um, inverter and click ok now you can see that inverter library is created here now first you observe or you have to set all the uh, there are many settings here required uh, to layout and use ng spice as simulation engine so first go to file and preferences there at the first one you will get uh, this window will pop up and here you can adjust this memory maximum memory is given by default it will be 64 
uh, you can give it to 2000 megabit depends on your ram or at least 512 mb you can allocate so that uh, it will give better performance okay that one setup you have to do another one uh, in the tools there is a ncc we will see that one later that is required for layout versus schematic so there you make sure the check transistor size is ticked so it is not ticked here i have ticked here now so this is required because when you do lbs you have to check the transistor size also okay and next one is spice and cdl here i have already set all these settings i will give this one in the description section spice engine must be spice 3 and here you have many options H spice p spice but we are going to use spice 3 and spice level 3 we will use and parasitic if you do not want parasitic then you can write simply transistor area and perimeter only but we need uh, I, I would like to show that parasitic ex extraction also that's why I will select conservative RC and just write dot and statement right okay and in the running spice here I would like to use NJ spice so as soon as I write spice code here I want it I want spice engine that NG spice to uh, do my simulation so that's the setup for that one is it should be in this option that is run and ignore output so by default it will be in the don't run but you click run and ignore output then you have to write the ng spice because i am using ng spice here with the argument okay so if you are using lt spice i refer you uh, cmos.edu textbook professor uh, jacob baker he has nicely explained and given all the documentation for linking lt spice with electric field cell okay from there only i have referred this one from uh, that site only and you click this overwrite existing output file and run probe okay this is required another technology if you go so in the technology you select analog because we are doing here analog so select analog and scale you can see here now it is selected on 100 nanometer that means lambda is 100 nanometer that means technology is uh, 200 nanometer or 180 nanometer CMOS technology so by default with the system you will get up to here only uh, scale 200 nanometer lambda 200 nanometer means 400 nanometer technology you will get so this you want to add it so I have showed that link uh, there from there you download 180 nanometer CMOS technology file okay so you select 100 nanometer lambda equal 100 nanometer and I think that is all you have to uh, do here okay now click ok now it is all set now let us uh, draw schematic diagram of inverter so go to the cell and click on new cell so here you select schematic and write not get so I will write not any name you can give so click ok now you can see in the uh, explorer there is a file created not if you double click on that you will get nothing because we have to draw it's a blank file so we have to draw this one so since it is schematic selected components will be regarded to schematic so you have all the mosfet or spice uh, elements all you have in the left left side uh, column so here you draw now a inverter so for that i need one pmos and n mos so there are also two options one is three terminal mosfet another one is four terminal mosfet uh, we will use four terminal because we want to explicitly connect bulk to the vdd or ground depending on whether it is n mos or pmos so click on this arrow mark so you will get these options so first let us use pmos and place it here okay now you can uh, use many shortcut here so actually control line is the shortcut for optimum zoom 
but I have changed all the uh, key bindings for my convenience so otherwise you have to go here tools and fill window so here it will automatically adjust the zoom size so there you can use this and here you can see one is written in bigger font another one is written smaller font so wherever that bigger font is there that side the convention is that side is dry so whenever uh, whichever side you have bigger font that side is dry in pmos we want source to be present at the top because i am using bdd at the top so source should be at the top side so what i can do is go to the edit and there is a mirror option click on up down now it is adjusted now you go to the edit and properties and object properties so there you have to click for that i have assigned the q by default it will be control i so i have assigned it q so i will edit this properties you will get this window let us first name it as m1 and we can keep width as here 20 means 2 means 2 lambda so 1 lambda is 100 nanometer 2 lambda means 200 nanometer i want to have a width of mm, 20 so 20 means it, it is uh, 20 hundred lambda so 2000 lambda that is 2000 nanometer that means 2 micrometer okay and length let it be 2 so that means 180 180 or 200 nanometer length is 200 nanometer width is 20 hundred nanometer that means 2000 nanometer that is 2 micrometer okay so select that one and click ok so you can keep this one aside and I will uh, okay now let us select uh, nmos again click on that and select nmos okay so nmos you can see here nmos the bigger font is at the top and lower it at the bottom and we want it like that only because finally source will be connected to the ground that should be at the downside so this orientation is correct now you select and press control i or in my case it is q and na uh, name it as m2 and width i will use half the uh, pmos that is 10 10 uh, 100 that means 1000 nanometer or 1 micrometer width i have kept and length is 2 2 means 2 lambda so now again uh, now let us also because when i want to simulate uh, i have to attach a mosfet parameters to my nmos and pmos so for that first what we have to do is we have to name it as pmos or nmos okay so for that you have to select the mosfet and go to tools and spice and you have set spice model because when i want to simulate i would like to add the parameters of a mosfet with this name so for that name i have to give i will give pmos itself so you can give any name but let us use pmos itself okay so again uh, select this one and go to the edit properties and object properties so whenever you want to edit the parameters this uh, option you have to always you have to choose this option okay so in my uh, so i will not uh, tell this one again and again so anytime whenever you want to change the parameter you have to select that component and properties and object properties you have to click okay so here i will give the name as uh, pmos you can give any name let us give pmos so this is about the pmos now nmos again you have to go to tools spice and set spice model and connect 
and you change it n mos change it to n mos okay now it is ready now you have to make the connection while doing the connection it is very easy first select the transistor and where you want to start i want to connect drain of n mos to drain of p mos so what you have to do is first select n mos click on the drain terminal that is drain is this side so click on mosfet and again the drain i want to start and next one right click on a point where you want to join it. okay so that means i want to connect drain of p mos so go to p mos and select right click or click right click this one then there will be a connection between these two okay similarly i want to connect uh, gate of this one p mos to gate of n mos so first select starting from gate left click here and right click then you will get this line again i want to draw this uh, vertically down so i will take the mouse cursor till the point where i want to draw and there i will right click so i will get a line here again i want to select this one i want to connect it to the gate of nmos so go to go there and click right right click yes okay so now it is connected uh, it's asking to save first time when you press save it will ask the name of the file i will keep it as a inverter only the default uh, folder is chosen save okay now you whenever you draw something you click uh, fi fi means here uh, design rule check you have to go for design rule check so you can see here uh, tools drc and check hierarchy so you have to design rule check every time you ch make any changes in the schematic or any in the layout also so i will click f5 so you can see at the bottom here here the message window is you can see there are three window one is the schema uh, working window another one is the component window and bottom you have uh, messages okay so there you have seen here you can refer here checking schematic cell no errors found if there is an error a window will pop up error in the window will pop up and you have to go there and correct the uh, correct the whatever mistakes you have done okay now i want to connect a vcc so symbol for vcc is this one power power symbol is this one and again uh, So click on that. I want to join that one to the PMOS source. And again, this is the fourth terminal bulk that should be connected to VDD. So I have taken that and I'm connecting to the power. And similarly, you need a ground for the NMOS. Click on ground and select on okay and also remember there is a grid option or the resolution which resolution you want i have kept it to minimum so that i can uh, place it very nicely okay so if you keep it a higher value then the minimum step size will be whatever indicated on this one so i have kept it to 0.5 here it is the minimum possible uh, now select here connect it to the source of nmos and make the connection okay now uh, vdd vcc or vdd and ground are ready now i have to add input input and output port for that you have to select this symbol the left hand side there is a symbol this symbol you have to connect or you have to use for the ports so click on that and where you want to connect click and one more i want so i will take it here and connect it to the pmos yes save it and run fi you can see no errors found suppose if there is an error let me make one error and show what it does mm. yes 
See, I have not directly connected from here to here. I have taken three steps here. So that will give error because I have to use only in one step, I have to make the connection actually. Let us see what is that. So let us run now. You can see there is a, there are two errors. Let's click OK and go to the explorer and error and in the game open the error here. You can see here if you click double click on that, it will show there is a extra unnecessary pin added. So I have to select that and delete. Now again F5 click F5 no error. Now that error is removed. So whenever there is an error that message will pop. Otherwise if there is no error no window will pop up. So you have to see the bottom here no error is found. Okay. Now what I have to do is I have to create the port. So select the port and name it as a you have to edit its uh, properties. For that you have to go to select the node and click on export and create export. Here you have to give the name. So let me give A. So one input port I have given the name as A. So you have to select and export then only port will be created that is required port is required uh, and the ports of schematic when you draw layout ports of the layout both should match okay so select it is case sensitive so you have to name it carefully again output port click on export and create export and click y yes now i have created the folder and for vdd and ground you no need to mention by default they are ports so you no need to define anything for that it is already written okay so now let us finally check once drc there are no errors so that we can see here no errors found okay uh, now we will simulate this one uh, for that first i have to write a spice code there I have to mention input voltage, output voltage and other components and also we have to link the SPICE file uh, that I already uh, told in my working directory I have stored uh, the parameters of MOSFET with the name as 180nm.lib so that I have to link here so what I have to do is go to components and there is an option called MISC miscellaneous there you click here and there spice code so place it on the working piece then you have to select its properties so you will get this window here it, click on multi-line text because we want to add many lines here and first one let us include that for that syntax is for this syntax you just refer in this space user manual there it is everything nicely given uh, what is the syntax for using uh, voltage source capacitor or how to include file what is the syntax so for that you have to refer that uh, ng spice user manual uh, okay or simply type in the uh, google as spice 3 or spice syntax you will get it okay so so i will directly write here um, first one is i have to include dot include and in c or in your uh, windows you have to give the exact path that means c colon or download something whichever folder you are using that exact path, path you have to give but in linux i can simply give if it is if the file is stored in my working directory i can directly give the name of that one okay so i will just see what is the name of uh, that one that is 180nm.lib okay so that only that itself you have to give dot include 180 nan nanometer dot lib lib okay uh, then i have to add a voltage source uh, let it be vdd and it should be connected between vdd and ground and value is 1.8 again you refer that uh, ng spice manual so syntax is name of the voltage source starting node end node and what is the voltage Similarly, uh, input input I have to use a I will use a pulse because totally I am going to check transient response. I would give a pulse at the input, and I will I have to observe inverted pulse at the output section. So 
what I have to do is I have to give I have to use a uh, pulse input pulse voltage okay so that for that I will give the symbol V in it is between A and ground for ground you use 0 then the source is pulse and this syntax also you refer uh, in syntax tells uh, pulse starting value you have to write that is 0 and end value that is 1.8 initial delay I will give 2 micro and rise time 1 micro fall time 1 micro width width let it be 5 micro and total period of the pulse let it be 12 micro okay then uh, I will use a capacitor output capacitor between y and uh, 0 so I give the name as C out and it is between y and 0 let it be 0 0.5 picofarad then what are the analysis I have to do I will write all the comments here that is dot control control statement I am using in that uh, I would like to do transient analysis for that symbol uh, syntax is T R A N and okay uh, syntax is tran step size let it be 0.1 micro and I would like to plot till 20 micro and I have to uh, plot input and output so I will write plot V of A that is the input and V of Y that is the output and I have to close this uh, control statement for that end C and finally dot end so this I have to right here you can see here include 180 nanometer dot oh, i have to okay let us uh, uh, simulate uh, so there is a option called in the tools spice and write spice tech then uh, ng spice will simulate these codes and it will display the waveform that is voltage at a and voltage at y okay so tools uh, spice and write spice deck okay so you can see here uh, the waveform both the waveform one is red color that is the input and blue color is the output so you can see whenever input is uh, at low that is this one output is high similarly when input is <coughs> uh, low then output is high so it is so we have verified the transient response of the inverter you can even uh, zoom in the portion whichever you want to see you can right click and select and that uh, whichever area is selected that zoomed version of that area you can see on the uh, wave so you can see on the simulation window okay so let us simulate now now let us find the uh, DC uh, characteristic DC transfer characteristic of an inverter or voltage transfer characteristic so for that we have to uh, change the code the input will not be a pulse now input will be a DC and the response or a transient analysis so I have to delete this transient analysis and replace it with the DC analysis so DC I want to vary or sweep V in from 0 to 1.8 with the step of 0 0.01 and I don't want to plot uh, the input waveform I don't want output only I am going to plot okay so let us uh, simulate this save and uh, spice deck you can see now the voltage transfer characteristic of an inverter so you can see input is varied from 0 to 1.8 and output is plotted okay uh, this is about how to simulate the uh, inverter and we have completed the schematic uh, entry okay so in the next video i will explain how to do layout and uh, again simulate that parasitic extracted inverter Thank you.